Imagine generating a full video complete with synchronized audio using open source models right on your own machine. No subscriptions, no closed systems, no waiting lists, just pure creative freedom sitting on your desktop. Future is open source. When I first saw OVI working, it genuinely felt like crossing a line in AI video creation. That future, it's already here. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is where we explore cutting edge AI tools and break them down so anyone can use them, no corporate gatekeeping, no hype, just real workflows that actually work. Today, we're talking about something that genuinely excites me. You've probably seen the incredible videos coming out of Google's VEO3, OpenAI's Sora 2, and Kling. These aren't just generating video anymore, they're creating complete audio-visual experiences with synchronized sound. The results have been stunning, almost magical. But here's the thing that's always bothered me. They're all locked behind closed doors. Wait lists, premium subscriptions, corporate APIs. For creators like us who love to experiment and truly understand what these tools can do, that's frustrating. We're left watching demos, while a select few get to actually build with the future. What if that barrier just disappeared? Meet Wan Ovai, the open source answer to VEO3 and Sora 2. This isn't a watered down alternative or some proof of concept that barely works. OVI generates videos with synchronized audio, supports both text to video and image to video workflows, and runs entirely on your own hardware. No API keys, no credits, no mysterious black boxes deciding what you can or cannot create. Think about what this means for a moment. The same multimodal generation capabilities that big labs showcase at conferences, now available to anyone with a decent GPU and the willingness to learn. And the best part, it already integrates with Comfy UI. Enjoy this moment. No matter where it's taking which means you can visually build, tweak, and experiment with every single node in the pipeline. Doing. And I need you to trust them. Before we get into the technical setup, let's look at what OVI actually produces. Take a moment to watch these sample videos. It is talent. It's all about authenticity. You gotta be who you really are, especially if you're working. You'll notice something immediately. This isn't just video with sound slapped on top. The audio is contextual. If the model sees someone talking, you hear dialogue tones that match the mouth movements. Come here. If it generates a street scene, there might be cars passing, ambient city noise, even footsteps that sync with movement. Hope beats circuits every time. Humanity endures beyond your code. The camera movements feel deliberate. The transitions are smooth. The overall coherence between what you see and what you hear creates something that feels intentional, not accidental. The truth is that it's actually a really sad tale. So, what do you think of these samples? Could OVI eventually reach the same fidelity as VEO3 or Sora 2? I'm genuinely curious about your perspective because we're watching this technology evolve in real time and your observations help shape how we explore these tools together. Now for the practical part. OVI runs inside Comfy UI, which means you get that visual node-based interface that makes complex workflows manageable. If you've worked with stable diffusion workflows before, this will feel familiar. If you haven't, don't worry, I'm going to walk through every step. The beauty of this setup is modularity. You can see exactly what each component does, where the data flows, and how video and audio generation interact. There's no hidden magic, just a well-designed pipeline you can understand and control. Let's break down the complete workflow piece by piece. The first step is loading your source image. This is your visual foundation, the starting point that OVI will bring to life with motion and sound. But here's something crucial 
that could save you hours of troubleshooting. Image dimensions matter enormously. Connect your loaded image to the node. This does two critical things. First, it ensures your image maintains its original aspect ratio. Second, it optimizes the resolution to reduce VRAM consumption. Think of this as preparing your canvas properly before you start painting. Now, if you're running a high-end GPU with plenty of VRAM, something like an A100 or H100, you might be tempted to skip this step. That's fine, but here's the rule. Maintain that aspect ratio religiously. The model expects consistent proportions, and if you ignore this, you'll encounter cryptic errors that seem mysterious until you remember this conversation. For text to video workflows, here's where things get interesting. You can disconnect the extra latent input entirely and manually set your width and height values. The workflow adapts seamlessly to both image-based and text-based generation. It's the same pipeline with different entry points, elegant design. Before we move forward, let's talk about the models you'll need. I've included a note node in the workflow with direct links to everything, but understanding what each component does will help you troubleshoot and optimize. You need four core models. OV Video Model. This handles the visual generation. It's the brain of your video creation, responsible for motion, composition, and visual coherence across frames. OVI Audio Model. This generates the synchronized sound. Everything from ambient noise to dialogue to environmental effects comes from here. MMA Audio VAE. This is your audio encoder. It translates the audio model's output into a format that can be processed and refined. Vocoder Big Vagan. This works with the VAE to decode audio information back into actual sound waves you can hear. Make sure all four models are loaded before proceeding. Missing even one will cause the workflow to fail in ways that might seem confusing. The error messages won't always point to the missing model directly, they'll complain about tensor shapes or missing inputs. Save yourself the headache and verify everything is loaded first. This is where OVI shows its unique character and where understanding the prompting system will dramatically improve your results. OVI uses specific tags that aren't just formatting, they're instructions to the model about how to interpret your creative vision. Let me break down exactly how this works. The S and E tags are mandatory. These markers tell the model where spoken audio begins and ends. Everything between these tags will be treated as dialogue or speech that should appear in your video. Then you have optional tags, is less than, AUD cap is greater than, and is less than, endured cap is greater than. These let you describe ambient audio background sounds, music, environmental effects. Think of the main tags as your script and these optional tags as your sound design notes. Here's a concrete example. Hello everyone, welcome to my tutorial. Soft ambient background music with subtle keyboard typing sounds. See how that works? You're giving the model both dialogue content and environmental context in a single unified prompt. Now here's what makes this powerful. You're using the same positive prompt for both video and audio generation. The model interprets this unified prompt to create synchronized output. However, your negative prompts can differ between modalities. Maybe you want to exclude certain visual artifacts but have different audio exclusions. OVI gives you that flexibility. It's a clever system that provides precision control over how both modalities evolve together. Take time to experiment with different tag combinations. This is where you'll discover what OVI can really do. Once your prompts are configured, you're ready to generate. Hit run and the model begins its work. Let's be honest about expectations. This isn't instant. Depending on your hardware and settings, you might wait anywhere from a few minutes to considerably longer. Use this time, productively plan your next project, grab some coffee, 
or sketch out ideas for how you'll use this workflow in your creative work. When generation completes, you have two preview points that let you evaluate quality before committing to the final output. Let's you hear the generated sound in isolation. This is incredibly useful for quality checking. Does the audio match your expectations? Is the speech clear and natural? Are the ambient sounds appropriate for the scene? You can catch audio issues here before they're baked into the final video. Then you have the video combine node where everything comes together. This is your final output video and audio married into a complete creation. This is the moment where you see whether your vision translated successfully from prompt to finished piece. And here's something practical. You can tweak playback settings, apply post-processing filters, or re-encode the output if you're integrating it into larger video projects. The workflow doesn't lock you into a single output format, it's designed to fit into real production pipelines. The open source era of multimodal generation has officially begun. OVI might not have the same polish as its commercial counterparts yet, but it represents something far more powerful. Freedom. Freedom to experiment without API limits. Freedom to build your own workflows without platform restrictions. Freedom to create without someone else deciding what's possible. Until next time, keep experimenting, keep learning, and keep creating. The tools are in your hands now. Let's see what you build with them.